All right, what's up, you folks, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Spencer Eats the Fast Food. I went to Panda Express and uh, got some stuff. They have an innovation kitchen. I don't know if you know about this, but it's where they kind of test items. And uh, you know what else is innovation? Marketing. That's right. You could follow me on Patreon, patreon.com slash the Sixler. That's how I can afford all of this. <laughs> That's not why. But you can support if you want to do this because this is kind of one of the only things I do on the Patreon now. <laughs> But you don't have to, and you probably won't. And I respect that. I respect you more for not giving me money. Anyway, Panda Express. They have these new dim sum bites option at options at their innovative kitchen or what's it called? I can't really, I can't see the sign. There's a car in the way. But it says like innovation kitchen. Yeah, that's what it is. Um and so they have like shrimp lobster dump dumplings shrimp lobster dumplings mini chicken wontons and these uh like apple pie egg rolls or something i also got uh the innovation kitchens also do like a weird chinese food burrito which is an idea i've had for 15 years they finally did it um yeah so i got a uh orange chicken um chow mein burrito or they call them a bing bing it's made with like a look, it looks like the tortilla or whatever. It looks like a scallion pancake a little bit, but it looks more like a tortilla. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Here's the mini chicken wonton. Look at it and all of its. There you go. Now the white balance is correct. It's pretty small. Uh, they come five to a pack, it looks like, and I'm going to eat it. Well, it sure does taste like a chicken wonton. There is maybe a little bit of ginger kind of marinade on this chicken, but otherwise it tastes like straight chicken. And there's like a single fried wonton wrapper. Not, not really anything. Not, if this is a test item, I don't think they have to offer this. I'd rather get like an egg roll or something. Um, their egg rolls are pretty solid usually. Anyway, here is the... Maybe I should try this with the sauce, you know? Maybe it would be better with the sauce. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so here's the lobster shrimp. Um, I guess let's go for the sauce. Very acidic, spicy sauce. Definitely has some sweetness, but I'd say it, it, it has more vinegar than sweet. But it is sweet. Look at that guy. Anyway. Um, gonna, gonna munch this. Okay, so that was, like, creamy and I dare say cheesy. It was like a fucking chowder. It was like a chowder in that. Let me see if I can break this open and show it to you. Yeah. Come on, white balance. Regulate. Look at that guy. Anyway, here, what if I do... You can't really see it, but, you know, it kind of oozes out. Um, but yeah, it's like a chowder situation. So that's actually quite nice. It's not just hunks of meat, you know? Which, hey, I usually love a hunk of meat, but it wasn't working with the chicken. So yeah, that actually is very nice. I would recommend that for sure. And let me try the wonton with the spicy. Still, no, still not good. <laughs> Here you go, here's the... Uh, how do I, how do I not make the, whatever. It's like kind of churro -y. This is good. Not really for me, honestly. I like the outside a lot more than the inside. I'm not like a big apple pie guy. It's like a classic apple pie filling, but it just doesn't really speak to me. But it's good. I'd rather just have like a churro or something. So... The wonton, the chicken wontons, that's like a one. The apple pie, I'll give that a three. I just, I don't know, like, you shouldn't be getting a dessert at a Panda Express. I'm sorry. You know, what? you, you guys do whatever you want, but that just, it doesn't, it doesn't bode well for me. Um, and the lobster dumpling, the lobster shrimp dumplings, and I don't even like lobster, but that was really good. Um... I'll give that a four. 
five still seems like too much and it's just it's it's kind of i don't know maybe if i got all like i, I paid five dollars for those three items maybe if i got all of the lobster ones you could get six for five dollars i don't know if they'd actually do that for you but that does seem like a solid price six of those for five dollars um but yeah I'll, I'll give it a four um it was very interesting for sure now we come to the bing why do they gotta call it a bing i'm sure because that's what they would that's like an actual i wonder i'm gonna have to look this up but it seems like bing's a bad name unless like that's actually what something like this is called you know but then it's like fusion so you don't you wouldn't imagine that it actually is called that so yeah Ugh, this this lighting is not good um it definitely just looks like a tortilla huh there's these green chunks in it which are the scallions presumably but it doesn't really anyway obviously i, I blame myself in part because i chose this combination but the the chow mein was on the last of the chow mein so it was a lot of vegetables i'm not getting a lot of noodles in here the orange chicken was pretty fresh, but an orange chicken and chow mein burrito is not the way to go, which is sad because this idea I've had for 15 years, it was this, you know, the orange chicken burrito is maybe not the way to go. This eating this kind of makes me think that rather than be like Chipotle style, you just pick your items and they burrito it for you. They should really be landing on certain takes and doing those as a burrito so you could get like maybe three or four different kinds of burrito and then obviously have you know your build your own option but i think like something like this it feels like you want fried rice and like kung pao chicken or like kung pao chicken and broccoli beef and not fried rice so it's just like vegetables and not but but this combo it's like there's not really a reason for it to be in a burrito. And honestly, when I'm eating it, I'm like, this is almost worse than uh, just having the a la carte or the, the, you know, the plate version of this. I usually don't like the chow mein, but um, from Panda, but you know, everyone loves the chow mein. And it seemed like it would be good in a burrito. And interesting, you know? So yeah, I think the Bing concept can maybe work, but I don't know if, panda express can pull it off like i think you want more like what do you call it hole in the wall chinese food place like you know the thicker chow mein that's like this greasy ass chow mein i think you want that in a burrito and you also want like dedicated sauce like some sort of you know like beefy or teriyaki or something kind of kind of spicy chili sauce that's you know soy sauce infused and then you want you know yeah probably like broccoli beef or kung pao chicken something that's pretty savory i, I don't really think that any of the kind of candied meat you know uh like the honey sesame chicken walnut shrimp etc maybe the walnut shrimp would work but most of these i think like for whatever reason the sweetness just doesn't combo well with either the the carb or the the wrapper you know so the bing this bing gets a honestly like a two forks from me um so yeah not a great outing but hey you know innovation it's not always a success, right? That's that's why. That's why. Look at those guys. Uh, anyway, get the fuck out of here. <laughs>